We want to talk to you about the importance of dust suppression. When using a, a three, 400 millimeter petrol source, such as this, or drilling, cutting or grinding, any kind of building material, so brick, block, concrete, reinforced concrete, etc., you will invariably generate a large amount of dust. And that dust is dangerous. Dust of that kind will contain very, very fine particles of silica. And it's been proven that silica, if inhaled into the human body, will and can be carcinogenic. To help mitigate the dust in the environment around your working area and to prevent in inhalation of that dust, the HSC recommend that a dust suppression system should always be used uh, across those, those, those applications. And in most cases, we would do that by applying water through a dust suppression water tank, such as this, through the machine to the cutting head to help reduce that. So this clip shows a petrol saw being used with no dust suppression and clearly shows just how much dust can be generated. And this clip shows you a petrol saw being used with a water-based dust suppressant and just how much it reduces the amount of dust that's fed into the atmosphere. So in basic terms, how do you use a dust suppression water tank? Really simple, you simply fill the tank with the correct amount of water, you then replace the pump mechanism, pressurise to the correct pressure, you connect the hose lock to your machine, and in this case, and for these examples, we're going to be using a standard 300 millimeter petrol saw. You then turn the water feed on the machine on, and you're ready to cut. And now, let's go into more detail of that process. So here's how you set up your Duro dust suppression water tank with your machine. Remove the pump from the tank, then you fill the tank up with the correct amount of water. I've already done that, this is sitting around about nine liters. You drop your pump mechanism back into the tank and then tighten it up. It doesn't need to be too tight, just nip that up. It's got a rubber seal on there. Then you pressurize the tank using the pump. Usually around about 20 pumps will take the tank to the correct pressure. And you can see when you've hit the correct pressure, when you look at the pressure relief valve, because you'll see a yellow band Once you see the yellow band, you can lock that into position and you know the tank's are sitting at around about four bar pressure, which is pretty optimum for the kind of water feed that you want to this type of machine. Then take your hose lock and connect it to the machine and then turn the water feed onto the machine. And here's how that looks before and during the cutting process. Duro offer a core range of three high quality dust suppression water tanks that can be used across any machine type to prevent this dust creation. So which Duro dust suppression water tank should you use? Standard day-to-day -day use, the 10L is perfect. 10 litres of water delivered through a three metre hose. Professional users, the professional hire market and for resale, the 13L is perfect. 13 litres of water, so 30% more delivery than the 10L. That's delivered through a 4 metre nylon braided hose and again has all the same features as the, the rest of the tanks within our range. If you find yourself working in an environment where stability is a major issue, then the 11L Stabil is perfect. It has a much larger base, so much more stable, and it has a protection ring around the water outlet. So if the tank does get knocked over, the likelihood of damaging any of the working parts is very slim. Okay, so key features across all three Duro dust suppression water tanks. First of all, you've got a high quality hose lock end on the hoses. That runs through to either a three or a four meter high quality nylon braided hose. These are all supported 
with a spring system that stops the hose kinking. And what you can't see here underneath the hose is the quality brass fitting that's on there. That's there really for strength rather than just being a plastic hose and tail. Brass a lot stronger, less likely to break. And then what you can't see within the tank is the feed pipe has a gauze on the end of it and that prevents any debris, any dirt or any grit going through the system into your machine and blocking the jets therein. We have a high quality and very, very robust pump mechanism. This has all the seals easily replaced. And then finally, we have a pressure relief valve, which is the same across all the tanks. This will ensure that the tank is never pressurized above four bar, which is optimum for the water delivery. And if you do need to release the pressure to refill the tank, you simply pull it up like that and it releases the pressure. Due to the heavy construction environment, most dust suppression water tanks find themselves in. Over time, debris in the working area will invariably find itself into the tank. This will cause wear over time and will start to wear certain amounts of the tank. For that reason, we've ensured that all the wearing parts across all three tanks are fully replaceable and we carry stock of all the key items that you might need to replace. And those are, first of all, you can replace the full pump assembly. That's relatively straightforward, just purchase a new pump and drop it in. Alternatively to that, you can actually replace just the rubber seals. There's three, there's one that seals the, uh, the pump into the tank, there's the bottom seal, and then there's the internal seal. And we supply that in a nice handy little pack you can also replace the hose assembly as a full assembly, including the hose lock and the anti-kink spring. In addition to that, and what you can't see, the internal feed hose and the water outlet nipple can also be replaced separately. The pressure relief valve also is fully replaceable. And you just simply unscrew that and add a new one if that gets damaged in any way. And then the actual hose lock which sits at the end of the hose, easily replaced and available. And should you wish to upgrade to a much more industrial hose lock, we carry a, a really heavy duty brass hose lock which will last that much longer. So for best practice when using a dust suppression water tank, key is to ensure you don't overfill the tank with water. Make sure that water is clean debris free uh, because any debris in the water as we explained will wear the component parts and the working parts of the tank out. Never over pressurize your tank so as we explained earlier around 20, 20 pumps on the handle will give you optimum pressure and you'll see a yellow band on the pressure relief valve. Pressurize too far you'll see a red line on the valve simply pull it up and take some of that pressure out. Also never remove the pump mechanism with the tank pressurized. Always release that before you do. Ensure that your hose is kink free and not trapped around any, anything around the working area. With the hose lock, make sure it's clean and debris free before connecting it to the machine. And really important, periodically grease or oil the handle of the pump and also the pressure relief valve. That will just extend the life of all of the working parts and the seals internally and make sure that your tank works well every time you use it.